Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Another week in the hobby, another week in the podcast. Hope everybody is doing good. Appreciate you stopping by to hang out. Hope everybody has a, a great weekend going. So, all right, uh, let's just get right into it. I got a ton of stuff to to go over today, so I'm gonna try to try to just uh, be efficient with my with my time. Um, all right. So first things first things first. Wanted to catch up on some mail. I haven't shown uh, any pickups for for quite a while. I've been so busy with the um, the countdown and such. But uh, yeah, I just literally got this one in the mailbox today. And my uh, good buddy Shane over at Shoebox Legends was uh, was so kind as to um, help me with this. Uh, he picked up a couple uh, Mookie Betts cards from me that I reached out to him about to see if he'd have any interest in because um, I was looking to uh, kind of raise some funds to offset this purchase and I had a couple cards I thought he might like and we were able to work out a super easy deal and Shane is such a great guy, good hobby buddy, uh, super knowledgeable collector and just um, I was really happy to get him those cards and I really appreciate the the um, transaction because I, I definitely don't take it for granted when when I reach out to a friend and say hey you know I got these cards or are you interested because a lot of times people you know they might be interested but it's just not the right time or they have other things they're looking at like there are so many cards out there that, that we can look at and choose between this that and the other so Shane I uh, really appreciate you picking those up the the money really helps you know the market is is tough right now so a lot of the the money for um, for cards for me has to come from from cards. So really, uh, really appreciate you helping me out with those those purchases. Hope you enjoy the cards. Loved your video. Appreciate all the kind words, all that kind of stuff. So thanks again, my friend. Everybody go check out Shoebox Legends over there. I'll link to his uh, channel down below. But um, I assume, you know, most people that would watch this probably know who Shane is. So so yeah, that's that. This is the card that I that I was uh, able to pick up. Um, this is the 2006 Topps Finest Gold X Fractor from Marvin Harrison. I just got this in from eBay Authentication a couple hours ago. Um, these are out of ten, so obviously a ton of uh, ton of rarity. I'm just kind of looking at the looks a little scuffed there, but that's on the I'm pretty sure that's on the card saver. I'm a little reluctant to take this all the way out and mess with it on camera just because I figure the uh, probability of me dropping it is probably quite a bit higher, but well, let's just do it anyway. Um, all right, so there we got Marv, Gold X Fractor. These are real unicorns. These are these are player PC grail type cards for, for this era. I've got the uh, base gold refractor from this set. Um, out of 49 graded bought that one raw graded SGC 9.5 so saw this one come up uh, the buyer or the seller listed it with this high starting price like 250 was the minimum bid I tried to kind of lowball an offer on it didn't happen uh, went to auction I was just bidding against one other person I think and um, yeah I think my max bid was fairly uh, probably about another 80 or so dollars higher than, than what I won the card for. So I was pretty stoked on that. But this this cost about 380 or so dollars after tax, I want to say. Um, yeah, so these are these are not easy to come by. Definitely not cheap. Um, but yeah, like I said, real, real unicorn type cards for for this era of finest and being a goal. Just being out of 10 is just such a big deal. I mean, um, copy, we got number number eight there so yeah I'll get this one put up in a in a case and sent off to to a grading company I'm not sure if I'm going to send this to PSA or, or SGC yet my other one's in an SGC case so I might just throw this one to, to PSA and see how it comes back but damn dude these are these are really special cards and um it'll look even better when it's out of these out of these penny sleeves but let me just kind of set that one aside for now all right, so that is that. Another massive pickup, 2006 also, gold also, Leaf Certified Materials, Tom Brady, Mere Gold out of 25. Uh, this one came up at a buy it now price of like $111. To me, that was an absolute smash. 
Um, I low ball, I sent like a $50 offer just instinctually and then like waited about 30, 45 seconds. I was like, ah, not, not time to mess around with this. Let's just buy it. And that's what we did. Um, this one is special because, well, for one, I haven't bought a Tom Brady card in a long time, but um, that one I'm going to be able to pair with the Peyton Mirror Black 101 from the same set. So that is a dynamic pairing, man. Peyton Mirror Black 101, Tom Brady Mirror Gold 10 to 25, the Colts Super Bowl season, the season the Colts had the greatest game in the history of their franchise and that AFC Championship comeback against the Patriots in Indianapolis down 28-3 or whatever it was, 21-3. Just, um, yeah, that was that was it. And it was those two dudes against each other and just Manning and Brady forever linked. I mean, we, we had so many heartbreaking losses against New England, just our arch nemesis, obviously. And, um, I just, I have a ton of respect for Tom Brady. You know, I, I don't, I'm, I'm not, you know, I don't think anybody even quabbles with the fact that he's the, un, you know, the unquestioned greatest of all time when it comes to, to football. But, um, but yeah, I uh, I'm a I'm a Manning guy, Peyton collector, Marvin, you know, Colts, all of them. But it is really cool to have a very significant Tom Brady card to to kind of pair um, with that Manning. And I wonder if that's something I could get a little bit more into, just in terms of you know, I, I'm not going to collect Brady, but if I see an opportunity to add like a, a complimentary card of, especially when it kind of elevates a Peyton that I already have, that might be something I kind of kind of explore a little bit when the opportunity presents. So that is that. All right. Now I've got, I've got some more mail, um, that we can look at. It's all Star Wars stuff, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and do, go through the countdown, uh, of today's cards. And then if, if I have time or if my dogs are still calm in a little bit, I'll, I'll show some of that at the end, but I want to get into this. Um, gosh, I need to put this in Marvin somewhere safe. Um, Hold on one second. I'm just going to run this over to the other side of the room. There's Kira. We'll hold it down for me for a minute. All right. So we left off. Uh, this will be number 58 here. Um, 2022 finest Kira gold out of 50. Awesome, you know, awesome design, awesome photography on these um, 2022 finest Star Wars I've talked about before. I think this is my, broadly speaking, my favorite Star Wars set of all time. Just the combination, the way they did the the images with fading in the background, I think is tremendous. Such a subtle change from the 2018 set where it was more of a, you know, just the like, kind of a copy and paste image on the card or whatever. But yeah, I... Um, I always I saw this Kira card and it was one of the first ones I was really, really gravitated to, especially with Han in the background there. It just really pops the card, the the yacht party scene there. So, so always been stoked on this one. Um, just think it's a really really tremendous card. She obviously she wasn't in any other you know um, live action content yet, so there's not a ton of different Kira stuff out there. So obviously a ton of star power with Amelia Clark, Game of Thrones, and then. Um, yeah, her just transition into Star Wars. So that is number 58. Um, okay, number 57, we'll go back to football. I'm gonna see a lot of gold cards today. Uh, this is the 2003 Topps Chrome Gold X Fractor for Edger and James there. These are out of 101. Beautiful cards. I love how 2023 Topps is doing sort of a tribute to this design in baseball. Um, the photography on these is tremendous. The, just the layout is so simple. That little image in the corner is badass. Um, yeah, these are, these are great cards. Just really, really awesome. I think most people that collect this era of football cards kind of, kind of put, kind of put these a little bit on a pedestal in terms of some of their favorite, like player PC type cards. I know I do, and I've seen others kind of say similar things on Instagram or different YouTube channels and this and that and the other, but they're just really striking. Um, they came encased, so you'd get them in those little plastic cases or whatever. And when you, I've cracked out a few of these and um, condition can really be all over the place. You would think they'd be 
more reliable in terms of being in those little cases, but I assume just banging around in those for, you know, however many years, it just kind of takes a wear on it. But centering can be brutal. Um, you can get some surface issues like this one, I think mainly kind of had a surface thing up, up towards the top of his helmet there, but, but yeah, these are crazy. Um, always love these cards, man. I don't have the Peyton. I've got Marv and Edge and I've had a few other players that I've sold like, um, Derek Brooks, Warren Sapp and that type of thing. But yeah, I'd love to add Peyton at some point, Reggie maybe, but with Peyton, you know, a lot of times you're getting into that five, six, seven hundred, eight hundred dollar range, and that's just not super, super interesting uh, for any any card really. But, um, but yeah, maybe one day. But you know, this was probably a sixty dollar card, I'd say, a few years ago. I bought it raw or whatever. So I, it was well, I guess it was still in the case. But but yeah, that's number fifty seven there for Edge. All right, number fifty six. We'll go back to twenty twenty two finest Star Wars and other gold. Another uh, Hollywood uh, star here with Daisy Ridley. I got the Dark Ray out of 50. Graded this one myself, hit the 10, always stoked on that. Super cool card. Uh, just again, great shine on these, great design, uh, great character. You know, obviously a character that only had, you know, a couple minutes of screen time in the in the film in, in Star Wars as a whole, but still, you know, if you're a, a Ray Skywalker fan, a fan of the sequel trilogy, most people uh, were really stoked to see that they were gonna have that that Dark Ray sort of vision in the in the newest film. So I've always been a fan of it. I thought it was really cool. Love that interaction and always stoked on her cards. So yeah, this is a this was a cool one. I'm glad they include her in all the all the checklists now as her own sort of character. So yeah, 2022 finest Star Wars is just was a really great set. I'm I'm happy to see they're doing another set in 2023. I did kind of like how it was so broken up, you know, before 2022. The last last set we had was 2018, so it really kind of creates a little bit of a just a sort of a cool sort of you know uh, limited you know type feel to it. You don't see them every day, but now you know. As with anything, uh, these companies will will print whatever they possibly can to to make money. So I'll, I mean, I'll definitely be chasing the cards. I'll be definitely more selective in terms of of what I go after, this, that, and the other. But but yeah, always going to be stoked on this twenty twenty two set, especially especially the gold. So all right, keep it moving. Two thousand back to football, back to Edger and James. We got the EX Essential Credentials. Um, you can see now we're really getting into some of the, we're either getting in, like as the countdown progresses, we're getting into either like the big, the big characters, the big players, the big subjects, or like the big card types. And this is a great example of Edron James, you know, he's a hall of famer and all that, but he's not like a super broadly collected player, but the essential credentials obviously carries, carries a lot of weight in the hobby. Um, 2000, I would say, is probably not most people's design, but these cards are still iconic, still extremely coveted, super hard to find. Uh, this is the only one I've ever seen for Edge come up, at least in my save search tenure. Um, tremendous photograph. Running backs always look great on cards. I've said that before. Edger and James always looks great on cards. I've said that before. Um, but yeah, the essential credentials now out of 50. I didn't realize this until I was listening to uh, Stacking Slabs. To, had a he's doing a parallel series, and he had a guy on there talking about these cards. And I always thought that they were all just sort of numbered to fifty, but now I realize like, so I think it's kind of like the elite parallels, where it's like if there's eighty cards in the set, it's eighty minus thirty, and then the number, or then the other one is like numbered to thirty. So I guess I think they did that in two. I'd have to check. I I'm, I would assume so, but yeah, I I had never kind of thought about that before, but that's really, really interesting. So, um, not, I mean, not the shot. I mean, I would think most people would say the base cards in 2000 EX look better, but still it's just the, again, just the, um, the overwhelming just, uh, demand and gravitas of the, of the parallel, you know, it's up there in the, not quite PMG level, but when you, when you think of people that just talk about parallels, you, you know, you always hear credentials, credentials, you know, all those types of things. So it's just, um, it, if, it's, you know, I think it's, you know, I've only got one more of these. I think I've got a 2004, um, I'm on green. Um, so I've only got two in my collection, but it, it's cool to have at least one just from one of your primary, um, player PCs. It really just kind of 
adds, I think uh, it just adds a lot to the, to the, to that segment of, of my collection, if that makes any sense. I do, I, I want to get this in a new case. You can see it's a little bit scuffed up there, which kind of drives me nuts. I won this in a PWCC auction, so I didn't grade this card. Um, if I graded it, it, it certainly wouldn't look like this, but, um, but yeah, there's like a kind of a gnarly little scuff there right by his, his face mask. So I might get this one reholdered at some point. Probably not something I'm going to allocate funds to right now. I can live with a little bit of scratching, but down the road, we'll definitely want to get that one fixed up. So, all right. Um, 58, 57, 56. Okay. So next is number 54 back to star Wars. Um, again, big character, big card. 2021 Topps Chrome Legacy. This is the Ray Skywalker card. I consider that I, I, you know, I'll tell you a hobby pet peeve I have is when, um, when people feel compelled to like uh, classify certain non-sport cards as as rookie cards. I, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. It just always like not everything has to be a be like have a sports like correlation. I, I understand the desire to do that, and it, it makes sense. But um, so I'm not going to call this the Ray Skywalker rookie card, but I'm going to call this the um, I'm going to call this, uh, as I said on Instagram, this is the debut card of, uh, the character we, we've come to know as Ray Skywalker in the sense that it depicts the scene in which she first refers to herself as, as such. So this is the black refractor number 10 of 10. Obviously that's cool. Um, great looking card, great scene, love the colors in the background, uh, nice, you know, shot of Tatooine there. Yeah, um, it's just, uh, it's a scene card. You know, I think a lot of people kind of can shy away from these types of things. Um, to me, what I really like about these relative to character cards is typically you get more unique and diverse images. Um, Tops, as we all know, is notorious for, for re especially with non-sport wrestling and that type of thing, for recycling similar images or the exact same image on multiple cards. But when you get into these legacy sets, you get a lot more uh, scenes just captured straight from the films um, and put in. And I think that's a, a really cool component. You know, you just you don't see this image on other cards where like, you know, certain Vader images you may see on five, six, seven, eight different trading cards over the course of a few years. So. So, yeah, I think that's cool. Um, just a really, really nice set. I've I've enjoyed collecting various cards from it. I, I think I've only got a handful right now, but. Definitely stuff I'm always kind of looking at. Um, they kind of go under the radar, I would say, generally speaking. Um, number 10 to 10 there. So, so yeah. Uh, yeah, that's 58, 57, 56, 54. Number 54 there. So, very cool card. All right, next up, the last one we'll do today, and then we'll see if we get into some of this, some more of this mail. Uh, this will be number 53. Sticking with Star Wars back to 2022 finest, we are in that segment of the countdown where we're starting to see some of these big golds of these big Star Wars characters show up. Uh, Vader, 2022 finest out of 50. A big time card here, hit the 10. I think I graded two of these, and they both got 10s, I think, because I sold, I sold one. But yeah, just like I was talking about with Kira, really cool touch fading in Palpatine back there. Um, they This, again, I've said this before, but... What I really like about 2022 Finest is it sort of blends that character image, classic character card with that sort of the more aesthetic, the aesthetically appealing images that you get on, on scene cards like that, like that Ray Skywalker where you get a nice cool background shot. It's not just a cutout of, of uh, the character in, in stamped on a, you know, a, a layout or whatever. You get a little bit of a um, more depth, I would say. So, so yeah, these are just just really tremendous so i love finest love golds love vader and it's a good spot for him right right there in the middle of the of the countdown so all right that is that that's 54 so we saw one two we saw four star wars cards two edger and james cards and now i would say we're definitely transitioning into some of the some of the big time stuff whether it be like lower numbered um you know, cards, better card type type stuff, um, just all that type of thing, um, and yeah, as we as we continue forward, we're gonna it's just gonna it's just gonna get better and better. So, so yeah, I've got a bunch of stuff here. I'm trying to decide if I want to mess with this. Some of these are like in 
hard savers that they shouldn't be in. Let's see here. So yeah, I'm just gonna start kind of talking generally. So if you wanna kind of tune out, there's, I'm not gonna cover anything super substantial, but I got some, some mail here I wanna look at. Um, so I'm gonna start grading more of these paper galaxy cards. I've been picking these up pretty cheap, you know, anywhere from a dollar to, to three dollars, just know the arts that I like. Um, I graded some that I have had, you know, for, for quite a while. Um, and they, they look great in the PSA cases. And these are all, you know, pretty low pop, relatively speaking, like some of the Leia stuff I graded was like pop one, pop two. Um, so, you know, I don't know what type of condition I'm going to get like this. I'm trying to see here. Um, but yeah, just kind of whatever arts like strike me. Um, obviously these are the, you know, original. Um, so this is like the 2009 set here. These are like the original just paper cards and not a lot of interest. You know, most people want the, the numbered chrome refractors and that type of thing. But I think there's something kind of cool about uh, putting this, putting these paper cards in cases. And it's definitely something I want to start doing more of um, just as a collector and as uh, uh, trying to resell them. So, so yeah, definitely. Let's see, can I put that there for a second? Um, so I'll kind of just go through these and leave them up if you want to hang out and and watch feel free to do so and i'll just kind of do this until my until something around the house here distracts me so cool uh one with maul and qui-gon there let's see what's this one? Oh, this one was cool uh vader um luke palpatine in the background that's super sick with those two lightsabers there uh, probably not going to spend a ton of time looking at the condition i'll do that before i put these in card savers, but yeah, I want to, I want to send some of this stuff in this month, actually, um, bought a bunch from Com C, some of the bigger, like, awareness cards, like the Padme, um, the box art from, from 2022 Galaxy, um, some more Leia's, oh my god, this one is sick, dude, jeez, look at that, that is a lot going on there, man. That one, yeah. I saw that one and I was like, holy, uh, this this is one I just want to get in a case for PC. That is such a sick card. You got Ewoks, you got Speeders, you got R2, you got Jabba's Palace, you got the Falcon, you got Palpatine. You got the Death Star Throne Room, you got Vader, you got Luke, you got 3PO, you got Han, you got Chewie, you got Lando, you got Yoda, you got the Death Star, you got Obi-Wan's Force Ghost, you got a Tauntaun, you got Cloud City, you got it, uh, Walkers down there on Hoth. Jeez, you got Star Destroyer, that is a nasty card, man. That is so good. Okay, what's this? Oh yeah, this one's cool. Great Vader there with all the ships in the background. Like, these are great cards, and I, I don't... I guess I feel kind of, you know, like, like, I feel like I kind of should have like done this a while ago, but, um, you know, better late than never, I guess. Um, and yeah, this is, I'm just kind of interested in, you know, I'll sell a few, but I'm more interested in, uh, just kind of building out like a nice graded galaxy collection and kind of leaning towards, um, I start kind of started with PSA with those other ones, so I might just keep sending these to PSA, sort of uh, kind of have a little continuity there. But they will look great, I think, in SGC holders too, because a lot of paper cards look really, really great in SGC cases. So, all right, what else do we got here? Okay, I got some shiny stuff too. It's not all, it's not all paper. All right, here we got some malls. Cool one there. Nice lightsaber. I think this is the same one. Yeah, two copies of that one. So yeah. Um and just uh yeah, I like the I like the cost basis of like buying these for like a few dollars, grading them for fifteen to twenty dollars. That's that's a that seems like a good good place to be for both collecting and for and for um, not losing your ass on trying to sell them. Uh, so, might not, I mean, they might not sell at all, which in that case, you know, it is what it is, but 
All right, what else do we got here? We got some shiny stuff. I saw these come up. Again, all this just came in the mail today, so um, just kind of processing it here as we go. But uh, 2018 Finest Luke, a gold out of 50. It's like 45, I think. Uh, never had this card. Uh, this was 60, I think. 2018 Finest Gold Ray. I already have this, but this is the variation. Hold on, let's go. Uh, 2018 uh, Vader Gold. God, it drives me nuts when there's like dust or hair on the. Um, so I have this graded 10. Um, saw this came up though for like 60 or $70. So I was like, all right, maybe I can sell the one that I already have graded for a couple hundred and just hopefully pay for all these. If not, then it'll just grade this one and sell it, whatever. But but yeah, couldn't pass up on it at that price, um, like 60 or 70 bucks. So and this one is like 10 Mon Mothma. So I love that because it's the, uh, the um, oh, damn, I'm gonna forget her name now. Uh, good grief. Um, Genevieve O'Reilly version. Yeah, so obviously she's really come back into the, into the fold as a primary character in a lot of these TV shows and, and whatnot. So, and then just from a value perspective, um, so I showed you that dark ray earlier. Um, when I was, I was getting ready to post that on Instagram and I was just curious, like how many of these were on the market or whatever. I went and looked and there was one on for sale for like $30. And then this, the regular one was like 35. So I just picked up both these. I'm just going to send these to PSA and grade them and either keep them or sell them or keep or sell the other ones that I already have. So, uh, so yeah, that was cool. Market on that stuff has come way down, um, way down. Like I was paying like a hundred dollars for those, $120 for those when the, when the set was uh, released, which is probably just, you know, that's how it goes. But all right, then we got some more galaxy here. I won't bother taking all these out. We'll just kind of flip through them. Look at the art. Uh, cool sort of dark side Anakin there, Padme, Obi-Wan, Battle on Mustafar type of a deal. This one's sick. Uh, I think this is called like, yeah, the Jedi Beam On. So I think the theme is supposed to be like uh, just all the lightsabers are activated. So that's pretty cool. You got Mace. Oh, let me take this one out. Let's see what this one. Yeah, it was a great mail day. All this stuff came at the same time. It was awesome. Um, Okay, you got Mace, Chewy, Grievous, R2, Vader, Palps, Obi-Wan, Anakin, pad me out there to the side. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Yeah, that'll look good in the case. Um, put you over here. Okay. Um, let's take this one out. This is a cool Vader. Yeah, these were... A little worried about the top. These were sent in like a team bag and they all had kind of slid slid up, but I don't see any damage. Uh, this one's cool because you can see Obi-Wan kind of reflected in his eyes there. Pretty sweet. Put you right there. Um, another Vader here. This is a really dark one. <laughs> you got Owen and Baru there. Vader and the uh, Stormtroopers. Another copy of this one. And then uh, this one's pretty sweet. Let me take this one out. Vader kind of leading a, leading a charge here. Very cool. Deflecting the blaster bolt. That's pretty sick. So, a lot of cool looking cards today, man. This is going to be a fun, I think this is going to be a fun month of grading prep because I've got PSAs running their 50 special. I've got a bunch of like celebrity, you know, non-sport ready to go for that. And then I'm going to throw, just save a little bit of money on shipping. I'm going to throw in another, probably another Star Wars order, maybe like a baseball order. Uh, so might just be throwing in like 10 or 15 of these Galaxy cards and seeing how we do. So, but yep, that's about 30 minutes. That's all I got for today. You gotta get out of here. Everybody have a great weekend. Uh, MLB playoffs are going. Enjoy the baseball games, college football, whatever you're into, wrestling. Have fun. Take care. Appreciate you hanging out. See you again next time. Later.